if I identified as a woman, would that make me a woman? Yeah. There is a pocket price! They have a vagina! Yeah! Do trans athletes have an unfair advantage? It's possible. Um, I'd say there's always exceptions to the rule. You know, like you could have a very small man who transitioned mm -hmm. into a woman. But, but do the exceptions make the rule? No, they do not. And no. that's why they should have a, a category. We're reacting opinion. today to the video, do trans athletes have an unfair advantage? Let us know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> Women's sports is pretty self-descriptive. Women compete against women. No matter how many surgery, a woman's body is a woman's body. You can't really change that. You get on hormone therapy, it does change the hormones within your bodies. If they're classified as females, they should be able to compete against females. What do I actually think? Yeah. I think women should compete against women, and transgenders should compete against transgenders. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Why do you believe that? I got my own problems. I was in the military. Was it fair for a male to do the female PT test? The woman's PT, like, like a lower standard? Significantly lower, because a female can only do so much. I think that's a very fair point. Absolutely. If you send someone into the army and they're transgender, are you making them do the same test as the gender they uh, uh, chose, uh, assign with, whatever the word is? or we're born with. Exactly. I hope you don't mind me asking, but were you born a biological male? I'm non-binary, so I can be female as a gender and my sex can be male. Whatever feels best for the day. How about between Monday and Friday? Uh, Monday and Friday, definitely see her at my job. It just depends on the vibe. Depends, yeah, yeah. mia! I don't get that one. I feel terrible for your coworkers. How are they supposed to read your fucking mind and know what day you're gonna be what? Well, she said that's for weekends. <laughs> Monday through Friday. She's hold on, like, hold on a second. You, so transgender people are saying that it's not a choice, and yet this bitch makes it a choice depending on her mood. Yeah, I mean- What one is it? Unless it's Monday through Friday. I want to move to Mars. Uh, anyone who identifies as such. It's just somebody who feels comfortable within femininity. I don't even want to say femininity because it goes beyond that. Maybe let's take like a recent controversial issue like abortion. Heard women say, hey, no one should be making laws about us. In that instance, it seems like a woman is someone who is able to have a baby. Does that constitute a woman or would you still stick with your definition? A uterus wouldn't like make you a woman. I feel like there's so many other parts that are so much more important than just that. Vagina considers a woman, but if you have like the long hair, if you have the nails. So I think those are pretty big differences, right? Because I could put on nails and hair, but if I identified as a woman, would that make me a woman? Yeah. Is there any sign? I'm good. I'm good. Totally fine. That's a, that's a lesbian I'm fine. Right you know, my dog can identify as a woman. What are we doing? You are making, you are, you are, you are disintegrating women. You are, you are dumbing us down to a fucking Halloween costume. Anyone can get their nails done. You, th like this, this dumb bitch thinks that she is, I'm for women's rights. But anyone could be a woman. What? The, you're a fucking mantra. Fuck you, bitch. The walking contradiction. Guess what? Guarantee this bitch is single. Specific <laughs> definitions, or is it just the words become true? No one decides to become a woman. So no one just wakes up and is like, oh, I feel like being a woman. You fucking ass. Didn't you just say if he said he's a woman, then yeah, he's a woman. Yeah, you can't listen to these fucking people. They're walking contradictions. Mm -hmm. Nothing they say makes any fucking logical sense. Not for a second. Jesus Christ, I hope she's not a fucking teacher. She looks like she'd be a teacher. Oh, Doesn't she? I'm so glad I don't have kids, then. People who look like that only get jobs teaching. There are tons of thoughts, decisions, and even Real social state, repercussions, maybe. like this entire line of questioning that come with coming out as a woman. But there should be an entire line of questioning when you're trying to change your genders. Don't you think? You should be talking to mental health providers and your doctors and actually like figuring out what's going on before you actually change your gender. Yeah, that's why they call it gender dysphoria. Seek help immediately. But there shouldn't be a line of questioning, right? Oh These, no. The people wanna off themselves and all that, yeah? But there shouldn't be a line of questioning. But wouldn't that be kind of ignoring some sort of biological, uh, I don't know, realities? I think that everybody has their own biological reality, and that's how the world has always worked. But this world is changing every fucking day, and you just gotta keep up with the new time. Why has it changed over the last few years? There's trans men who are now capable of giving birth. Whatever makes someone feel better and... Mm. I love... Ugh.
I love that sentence. Trans men were born as women. That's just a fact. And saying that they can give birth is inherently obvious. Let's just make it black and white. The person born with a vagina can have babies. You can call them trans men. You can call them men. They have a vagina! They can now have babies. They've always been able... What, once they had their first period, which they all have, they were able to have babies. Stop confusing children with this fucking nonsense. Mm-hmm. Ah! Night ...and doesn't hurt somebody else, I don't think should matter to anybody. Okay, so then what will the other side? It does! It hurts women! Jesus Christ! I apologize, everyone, for getting mad. I get very frustrated. I'm very passionate about this shit, and it fucking pisses me off! It should. It's very unfair. Fuck. It's very unfair to people. I'd say. Okay, in your mind, do you think there are more than two genders? Yes. I, I couldn't identify them all for you, <laughs> but... I'm, I'm an old school, so if I'm growing up, I just know who man and who man. Again, I think I decided that I'm an alien. Do you believe me? And if you don't accept that I'm an alien, then you're wrong. And that just doesn't make logical sense. You can have your own opinion, your own thoughts, but I think there's one or the other. Outside of sport, I don't really think it matters. What do you think is the solution? Do you think trans athletes should have their own league? Do you yeah. think that sports should be gender neutral? I, I see no. some females out there that can kick any guy's ass. Are trans women taking away women's rights? Because yeah. it wasn't until 50 years ago when Title IX granted more Access to it's very all right, all right. What's her name? Leah, Leah, whatever the fuck He's her name is. This, yeah. yeah, okay. No, no, no. There's one thing I'm gonna fucking say. Leah needs to stay out of the fucking women's locker rooms. You wanna know why? Because Leah wants to fuck the women! Because she's a straight man! You have a dick! <sighs> More times than not, is a denying opportunities to win. I think you have to ask that population. I think someone who is prepubescent and is on hormones before developing natural testosterone, they're not as strong as me. So should there be an age cutoff then? Yes, their estrogen and testosterone levels have to be tested before competing. If I'm gonna be real, I didn't expect that answer. Do you think that trans women have any sort of advantage against biological women when it comes to sports? No. People can train and become professionals in whatever sport. I want to punch her in the, the face. I just, like, we mentioned this earlier. There's exceptions to the rule. You have the one man who's 5'2". But and the exception doesn't him. make the rule! But the rule is that men are generally taller and larger and stronger than women. So majority That's says, not even all of it. Overall, no. In my opinion, don't let him play with them. Keep us separate. If you don't want to compete with your own gender, make a third league. Fine. Point being, they will be stronger overall. They will beat women out overall. They will never, ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you saw that too, right? I did, yeah. Hold on. Some people grow muscle faster than others, and that has nothing to do with your genitals. In general, yes, do you think men and women have physical differences? I think there are physical differences. It is much easier for a man to build muscle than a woman. <sighs> no shit. Just saying. No shit. Well, we have a fucking brain and we know science. Yeah. I mean, if you don't know, now you know. It's way harder for a woman to build muscle than a man. Well, we do live in reality and they live in their reality. Is across the plane. We have differences. We're both women. We have differences. We're both women. Yeah. There could be biological advantages to it, but at what point is like that measure quantifiable? A basketball player is scoring 500 points a game. I would say that would go into more of the skill than rather than just like hormonal like influence. As long as they're on like the proper treatment like HRT, and I actually think at that point it becomes a disadvantage. Oh also, my god! Oh my god! No! You went through puberty as a man! You're built now. What is wrong with these people? Thinking that, like, reality isn't reality, logic and science doesn't make any fucking sense. Lost a lot of that muscle, gained a lot of fatigue. When I used to play soccer, and I felt like it was, like, better. I felt like I could challenge myself more. It said that it made you better. Are you saying that men have an advantage over women when it comes to sports? Uh, no, I don't think oh, so. Oh, that's what There's, she like, said. There's, ways mm -hmm. in which that men and women can learn from each other in sports. 
I guess, but could that be considered uh, a bit unfair for biological women? I don't think so. Do you know who LeBron James is? Yeah. So he's 6'8", 280 pounds. What if he became a trans woman and competed against WNBA <laughs> players? Would that be something that the WNBA players should just get over? Like, she would have an advantage. At the same time, I don't know, I feel like they could figure it out. He probably would be in a league. It's fine, women can just figure it out, you know. Stacked women. There are six foot plus women who weigh a lot, who have a lot of musculature. Um, yeah. Probably they'd be playing in the same league. I think it would just depend on the. Okay, let's do an interview with the WNBA. Okay. See how many of them. I guarantee them. fucking to you now one goddamn bitch on that fucking basketball team's gonna be like, yeah, I could totally take LeBron. I'm a big soccer fan. So I think women's soccer and men's soccer becoming competitive to the point where like some of them are like passing the same like records at the same time. I, I had to disagree. I well because I have personal experiences with this. When I was like on a U16 soccer team, we played the Portland Thorns. So they were like the women's champions of that specific year. So they have like uh, Alex Morgan, like a bunch of like these Olympic high-level athletes. We killed them 6-1, and we were 15. A personal experience like that only goes so far. You can have outliers because we're seeing individual women (laughs) break like certain records. You're comparing a team of women. It doesn't make the rule! (coughs) You're comparing women versus men. A team of professional athletes here. And you're, well, exceptions and rules, you know? That's not an exception. That's not an exception. That is the rule. You just proved it, but that's the exception. No, that's the fucking rule, dude. That's the fucking rule. Any fucking time. Any fucking time you pin a group of men against a group of women, the majority of men are going to overpower the women. It's just fucking... It's history. It's life. Look back at any fucking point in time. Look at any fucking animal species. Look at anything. It's just fucking logical. And to sit there and say that it's not, that they can... Oh, well, that's the exception. Fuck you. That's the rule. That's nature. That's life. That's history. Look for two seconds back. Come on now. They're stubborn little toddlers. You could say, hey, guess what? The sky is blue. Yeah, well, my truth and my reality is green. My cat can sit there and identify as a male, but she's still going to go into heat and scream like a bitch for someone to dominate the shit out of her. That's just fucking nature. They live in the twilight zone. That's why my cat's smaller than any male cat. People wonder why WNBA and NBA get paid differently. It's because clearly NBA guys are dunking like crazy. But hey, if a girl is at that level, then sure, like, go do it. How about, like, maybe, like, something even more consequential, like UFC or MMA? Do you think men and women should be fighting against each other? So I would think the weight classes could account for that. Absolutely fucking not. I think it's unfair, but they still have to compete. What about those instances? I know I would never be trying to fist fight a man. (laughs) Exactly. So even if he's your weight class... Are you going to go fight that man that's your weight class? Do you know how fucking dangerous that is? You can actually kill a woman. I'm no longer on the left. Partially because of shit like this. Mm-hmm. Good luck out there, guys. Best of luck to you. Women. Anyone. Y'all are going to fucking need it.